Getting into our next match, we got Miko once again coming in with the Icy going up against a Cupid player. A Cupid player that I have not actually seen one time before. So, with that being said, this is definitely going to be a pretty good match if I do say so myself. And just because, why is it why is it glitching out like that? Why does it keep doing that? Pissing me off. All right, should be good there. There we go. All right. Let's see what this cube is going to actually be able to do against Miko's Icy, because this Icy has not been trolling at all today. Well, a little bit, but no. He is playing out of her mind. Yep, the American Air Dodge. Oh no. Ramp to F Smash. Caleb's not in a bad position right now. I mean, only a little bit of percent separating the two. I mean, it's not like he's... Well, he might die to the next hit, to be honest. Cupid is the lightest character in the game, so... One sweet spot back here would definitely go ahead and do it. And this up air might do it as well. No, not just yet. Great DI from the side of Caleb. Gonna shoot the arrows, make sure he got a safe landing on the way down. That back air, no, not enough just yet either. But the next one will 100% do it. Oh my god, the reaction time from Miko using that up B counter to punish that F smash that Caleb threw out. Almost got a combo off of that. That would have been sick. Another one? No, okay. Just goes for the uh for the up air. Oh my gosh. Caleb has been in disadvantage literally the entire game. I don't know if I like what I'm seeing. Hello? He playing? No, he's playing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. He's not gonna make that back either. What is happening with these players today? Back throw. Okay. It's, Caleb just cannot get anything started. Look at all this extra damage that Miko has been able to dish out. And I mean, like, Caleb can't even take the first stock away. So this is definitely looking like it's about to go straight into game two. Oh, and the dash attack. Let's see if we're going to see something salty here. Goes for the ledge drop back here. Not going to get it, though. Caleb, yeah, he's just throwing out everything that this character offers, and none of it is actually get connecting. And, oh, my God, reading the jump right there with the super sweet back air. And that's going to be Miko taking game number one. All right, all right, all right. I think he meant on, mean on his phone. Oh. Okay. Alrighty, gonna be seeing the run back, Miko versus Caleb once again. Gonna be seeing the Cupid versus the Icy. And the Icy was looking super good in that last game there. Uh, the Cupid I can't say too hot about. Alright, Caleb looking like he's trying to start locking in though, but as I say that, getting hit by one move can lead into 70,000% by Icy, so... Definitely got to be on the on the safe side here and just try to throw out some more safe options from a distance. Oh, that would have been actually pretty good, but fortunately it was a little bit too far out of range. Oh no! Our no, the back air. That was a, that was an instant turnaround back air. Actually, that was beautiful from uh, from Miko. Ooh, almost goes right into the force smash and yes Caleb gonna get the second force smash there and that's gonna finally get a stock on the board from uh off of off of Miko game look, not looking too bad for Caleb this time maybe the D&D &D, whatever he did was actually gonna help him this game 
As I say that, he's been in disadvantage for the past 10 seconds, and he's got all this percentage racked up onto him. The next hit actually should do it if it's going to be a back air. Forward air should be able to do it as well. Yep, that was such a beautiful stock from Miko right there. Did not let Kayla play the game for that entire stock once she got onto her second stock herself. Oh, no. The American air dodge. Caleb kind of just swinging for the fences right now. Gets the down to or the up to into the down air, though. Goes for the nair into the up to I think that actually would have been pretty solid if he actually got the hit there. But, yeah, these notes are actually getting on my nerves. Dude, I, I'm telling you right now, this character would actually be very, very good if um if the notes that he shot out had hit back like uh, villagers did. All right, GG's. If it had knocked back like villagers did. Did I already have it set to 2-0 this time as well? Bro, there's no way I did. I know for a fact I did not. It must be doing it itself. There's no way I did that.